Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, we are going to learn action method in ASP.NET Core Web API. In our previous session, we have discussed controller in Web API. It's a class that handles HTTP requests and HTTP responses. See, here we have created to do controller. Controllers will have action methods. They are actually responsible for handling HTTP requests and producing HTTP responses and each action method corresponds to a specific http verb like get post put or delete this to do controller has action method get all whose return type is i action result and this handles http get request how do we know this because we have specified this http get attribute this action method is returning null which is not the right thing to do let's improvise this code i will add a folder models let's add a model to this application add new folder models i will add a class and it will be to do item let's add few properties to this class i will add id title and completed these are the three properties inside this to do controller let's prepare sample data see here we have prepared sample data this is only for learning purpose don't consider this as a best approach i have modified this get all action method to return this list of to do item here i am returning this list that we have created action method can return various types like it can return specific type or we can use i action result or you can use generic type action result or you can use http results Look at this get all action method. Return type of this method is list, which is a generic list of type to do item. If we use this specific type as return type, then in all the cases, this get all method can return only list of to do items. Instead of returning or instead of specifying this list of to do item or a specific type as return type, we can use I action result. This is the most commonly used return type. The I action result return type is appropriate when multiple action result return types are possible in an action. I will elaborate it further. Let's say I don't want to return it this way. Instead of returning this way, I would like to hop, I would like to have a proper check before returning data. I would like to check if this to do items, whatever the data that we are going to return whether it has some data whether this list has some data before returning the data i would like to have a check see in this case no items in the list in that case i want to return not found return not found this not found method will return 404 status code HTTP status codes are standard response codes given by web servers. In our next session, we are going to understand these status codes in detail. For now, you just understand these are something that are used to convey whether the response is success or there is some issue. We can use these codes to understand the response. If there are to do items, then we are going to return 200 OK status code along with the list of to do items. To do that, I will write return okay and inside this method i will pass this to do items this way response will have to do items along with status code important thing to remember here is this action method handles http get request we can write different action methods to handle different types of http requests in our upcoming session we are going to understand them in detail how to work with different http verbs for now, our focus is to understand the action method, how to write the action method and what is the responsibility of the action method. Now, let's run this application and see how the response looks like. Our application has built in support for Swagger. So here is Swagger UI. This, web, this application exposes two endpoints. One is to do and another one is weather forecast. Expand this endpoint see here we get an option try it out click on try it out see 
now I will click on this execute button see this will fetch the response see look at the request URL this is the request URL server response look at the code see this ok method is returning this code and this is the response and this is in JSON format let's test for this not found code I will comment these two items and I will save this this time our list should not have any item so count should be 0 and this condition should be executed I will run it again again I will try it out execute see look at the response this is request URL and this is the server response see this time we have 404 error code this says response status code is 404 and we do not have any response this is how we can convey like what is the response and what has happened you we can use this code to decide what happened with the response this was the quick session on action methods thanks for your time there is a lot more to learn see you soon in the next video thank you